Skylanders beat Coker in three sets to go over 500 on the season. Uh, Coach Goncalves, your team hit 390 tonight. You had two players with 15 kills. Assess the attack uh, percentage of your team tonight and how they performed against this Coker front line. Um, it was efficient. And something we talked about in practice this week is that we wanted to make them play as much as possible, take the swing, be aggressive, be confident in what we can do. Um, and then as well as make sure that the pressure is on them to have to score points. We want to make teams earn their points, not kind of give away there. One of the more impressive stats that stood out tonight for your team was 10 total team blocks in three sets. That's obviously something that would jump out of the page. Your team is really starting to be able to do that in, in you know, uh, confidence right now, to be able to put those kind of block numbers up. As you go forward against more teams in the, in the EIBA, how significant is that going to be? Uh, it's going to be huge. I think that it's something we've been working on and something I think that we've needed to work on. Um, and it's nice to see how it's translating. It's giving us more than even the 10 stuff blocks. It's giving us good touches and great opportunities to, to at attack the team back and give us a ton of points in transition. Jabari, another good night for you. 15 kills. You hit 480, three blocks as well. Um, with, with this Princeton match now coming up tomorrow, how important was this match for you to kind of get ready for that? Uh, it was good. Uh, we we had a, a quite a long break, so we got a um, chance to work on some stuff that we know that the ABA teams can bring. So this was a good opportunity to put what we did the last two weeks in practice together, working in transition, making sure we're closing our blocks, and then getting some swings in transition. I thought we did a great job of doing that. So we're pretty excited for tomorrow night, come out in conference game at home and beat Princeton. Knowing uh, what Princeton's done this year, they've beaten George Mason, they've been really very competitive overall. What do you think your team needs to do to be able to knock off the Tigers? Uh, win the serving pass. I think that in this conference we have hitters that can handle any block that these other teams put up, but once we win the serving pass, uh, Ricardo does a great job distributing, and as our attackers, we can put away the ball. So once we win the serving pass battle, I think that we have a great opportunity to come up victorious tomorrow. And the last question, Coach Goncalves is given the time off. With the uh, way your team played tonight, looking forward to tomorrow, same, really same concept. What kind of uh, similarities from tonight's match do you need to see for them to be successful tomorrow? Uh, I think we just need to play as tough as we've been. And I think since the last time we've, we've, we've improved tremendously. And I think that it's been a testament of, you know, yes, we, the last two weeks we've been going through, but we've been getting more and more confident with areas we needed to improve. Um, and I think that's huge, even going forward after Princeton. Um, I think something we can bring specifically from last time is exactly right as the serve and pass, and then I think our block will, uh, being improved there, will give us a, a better chance against them. They're good attackers. Uh, that's all. American Jabari Goodrich, head coach Danny Goncalves, and JIT beats Coker 3-0.